Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, I am new to the journaling community and also um, this is my first um, journaling book that I have. I decided to go with the Hobonichi Techo 2021 um, in spring obviously because we're already well into May just because um, I saw on a few YouTube videos that I was just kind of deciding which journal I wanted to use. This one I feel like has everything I need um, in one so I'm not carrying so much different books. Um, I know some people have like a personal one, a memory one, a work one, um, but for me I just kind of want to incorporate it all in one just because this one also from my understanding has like the monthly, um, the yearly, the date weekly, and like the um, dailies. So which is I really like. Um, right now I am currently only using like the only journal I've had is like this um, Muji one that I got and a lot of it I use it for work. Um, but mainly I am new to like the community of journaling and stuff and I always saw like this cute stickers. Um, so I write a lot of notes mainly for work and stuff but um, it wasn't until basically in March you can see my writing is awful. Another reason why I wanted to actually start um, journaling a lot more is to work on my penmanship and I recently like just only this year I found out about these cute really cute stickers um, so I try to incorporate them you know even though I have a really busy work schedule um, I try to incorporate them so that I have a little fun in my life a little bit of pop of color and when I do have like a day off and I can kind of put in my appointments like a facial that I had I was on vacation even though literally nowhere was staying at home during my vacation and then obviously when I came back I had to like catch up and all like my work stuff and stuff um so I feel like I didn't really have like a section for journaling um just because like I have all these stickers and stuff for work and tracking and stuff but like in terms of like today like this week was an extremely busy week so it was like just all work related and like this is like the weekly section, um, which I feel like the Hobonichi has as well. But like there's only like one section out of like this whole week spread where I can put notes down. Whereas in the daily, I feel like I can use maybe that section more for work and this one to kind of plan out my life a little bit more. And then the monthly section, I usually don't really use. Uh, maybe I can kind of use that more on a personal level just because I'm not flipping through it every day. And, you know, my coworkers <laughs> don't really see like all these insane cute stickers that I'm going to be using. Um, so I just kind of felt like, you know, the Hobonichi um, Techo 2021 cousin in the A5 was the perfect one for me. I did a lot of research. Um, I got, obviously, I got the spring one just because I think it starts in April from my understanding, but we can open it to find out. This is, my again, my first journal, my first Hobonichi. I've only used the Muji one before, so um, hope you guys can come along with me on this journaling community uh, journey with me so that I can um, plan out my life a little bit better, adult a little bit better, and also have some memory keeping sake. So hopefully I can kind of at least have one a year and for memory keepings. And I feel like with COVID and everything, um, things slowly are opening back up in Canada. Um, so I feel like I'm going to go out a little bit more. I'm going to have more appointments and um, dinners with some friends so I can do a little bit more personal journaling as well. Um, I just got also like a cover for this. I think it's just a clear cover um, just so I can protect my book. And then also, um, based on the little stickers that I had in my Muji personally, I guess I got some stickers from the Mochi Kichi um, sticker group. And I also had also a few stickers. Um, I bought a lot <laughs> just because I'm starting, but they haven't arrived yet. So hopefully maybe in my next video, I can do the haul once they've arrived. But also did one from, got some stickers from Scrapple's Creation. And I also got one from Ali Sketch, uh, which were these like bullet ones. And I got some cute little, um, mostly these are all from Mochikichi, which is super cute. I love Hot Pot. Vancouver rains quite a lot here, so I have a lot of this. So a lot of stickers and stuff. So hopefully I can get the get to use these more often um, now in my Hobonichi. And then since I'm new to journaling, basically, um, I bought some pens. I really don't really know which ones to use, but I got, I'm really into, into pastel colors. 
So I got these Zebra Mint Liners highlighters um, in pastel colors. I also just got these Le Pens. Also, they are also in pastel colors. Can you see the trend? I also got some Muji pens that I usually just kind of use in color coordinate for work. And then these are just a little bit more um, variations of colors like red and a little like pink and then blue and black. These are all, I use these every day for work. So these are essential. So just put that aside. So I'm really excited. So I guess we can kind of open this up first. This is my life. So I thought about maybe just using like the April one as like an index, figure out how I want to plan and stuff. And then in the May, um, I can kind of maybe do catch up and then also just kind of like start planning. Um, what is this? So I don't think I need this anymore. Just put it aside. Life book. Okay. So I know I got the A5 version. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So what is it? What is this for? I can't read Japanese. I am not Japanese. So I guess to kind of show you what they have in their planner lineup. I guess various ways on how you can use it, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. My top 100 favorites. I guess this is kind of all what's kind of in the book, I guess. It's quite a lot. And then some artworks that other people, creators have done. Super. Wow. Okay, anyways, get back to the book. So I, and again, I got the Hobonichi Techo 2021 Cousin in the spring, just cause we're already almost done May. So this is woo, my first open. Okay, so I saw a lot of people here decorate their stickers quite a bit. Um, also put some cute stickers here, some vinyl, some washies. Um, I'm going to keep it very minimalistic just because, again, I'm going to be using this more heavily for work and some personal journaling. I just, I, you know, I just don't want my coworkers to be kind of like laughing at me <laughs> for my, my stickers. So we have a yearly spread. So all the calendars, so 2020, 2021, 2022. So I think I might just put some holidays, some important dates here. I saw a lot of people use this as habit trackers or index for um, their dailies or their weeklies. I think I'm going to use a habit tracker just because I feel like 2020, everyone just kind of like derailed off from their life. There was no scheduling whatsoever, myself included. Um, so I think I will probably practice a little bit more golf, meditate a little bit more, try to sleep a little bit more early and things like that. I sleep extremely late. So I guess it goes straight from April and then 2022, March. And it starts in February, I guess. Okay. And I guess there's some important holidays in Japan. I read bare minimum Japanese back in um, back in high school. That was years and years ago, but I only know like the days of the week. So I guess this is Saturday, Sunday. Obviously, there's also English. Due to my job, I actually work on weekends. I haven't had a day off on a weekend in years, like six, seven years. So my days off are actually default a Friday and then some jumping back and forth. But I've tried to, over the years, try to get Thursday and Fridays off just so I kind of have like a Saturday, Sunday. So my start, my Monday, basically, it's like a Saturday. So maybe I can do some like one life event a day here, more like on a personal stuff because there's not much room to write, I think, for like work. And I think I'll use this quite a bit just because this is kind of like more like the Muji spread, um, the weekly ones, but just kind of like vertical instead of like the horizontal. So I quite like that. It has like the little time code um, stamp on it from like 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. Um, I don't know what's anyone doing waking up at 4 a.m. or waking up at 5 a.m., but we can probably do some like audible books that I'm currently reading or some Netflix shows I'm currently reading or even kind of like track what kind of meals I ate, you know, to kind of hold myself accountable if I see it like right away if I'm having like McDonald's or Taco Bell's like three days straight, then I kind of like wake up and be like, okay, gotta eat a little bit healthier. So I think now again with COVID and everything opening back up, I think I just want to hold myself a little bit more accountable 
and if I'm going to plan ahead, I'm actually going to like do what I mean, what I set out to do. So a lot of it, a lot of times I kind of just like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the post office. And then it's like, oh, I forgot. Okay, I'll just go tomorrow. And then, oh, I forgot. I'll go tomorrow and the day after that. And just kind of like snowballs out of control. But whereas if I'm going to write like, okay, I'm going to the post office, like then I better be going. So that's kind of it. Um, what else is here? my top 100s I think I think I'm gonna read more so maybe like my top 100 books or audible books that I've read I listen to a lot of podcasts true crime podcasts these are some postures really cute book again I don't want to put too many stickers just because I don't want this book to be chunky I'm oh, sorry um but I just don't want this book to be too chunky just because again I'm going to be carrying it in my work bag quite often and I think I'll have some stickers, obviously, to kind of reflect my mood. But here I am rambling on. So how do I open this? Yep. Okay. Okay. So it is clear. And I did buy these off Hobonichi website. So they actually flew from Japan, which is really cool. I hope it fits. I think I got the A5. So that's one side. Does it go in here? Okay, yeah. And then maybe this side. Does it go in? I feel like I'm gonna rip this already. Okay, let's see. Slide it in. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay, I think it's kind of big. Maybe I got the wrong cover for it, or maybe I think some people have like a cover within the cover, and this was like kind of like the outer shell. But maybe I'll buy another one once I'm really into my book. But for now, I guess this will do. Okay, so I guess that's that. Okay, so I guess the stitch binding. So yeah, so this is my cousin. Um, this is my first video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see how I plan my weekly spread and how I'm going to fill it all in. So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.